temperatures, they do not discriminate. Also taking their toll on area churches, even closing down the Baltimore Basilica. Yeah, parishioners hoping to celebrate Mass there on this Ash Wednesday were met with a detour. ABC 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on what shut it down today. Jeff. Well, Jamie Kelly, on what is typically one of its busiest days of the year, the doors at the Basilica remained closed as repair crews went to work trying to restore heat to the landmark cathedral. The first day of Lent found Annie O'Malley here on the outside looking in at the Baltimore Basilica. I am a little disappointed because I came all the way across town to try to get here on time. It's a disappointment shared by the rector of the National Shrine, Monsignor Arthur Valenzano. You know, it almost seems like a procession with all the businesses are coming up here, all the people are coming up for the ashes, you know, to get the, the Lent season started. On this day, Ash Wednesday, the Monsignor had to turn people away. Yeah, Mass is over at 320. The, the heat's off. The culprits behind the closed doors, four large heating coils, which froze, shutting down the cathedral's source of heat. The temperature really dropped very quickly. It was, uh, I guess it was kind of like one of those perfect storms where uh, the air handle, the first air handling unit went down to, uh, it draws in the outside air. When the air is down to two and three or five degrees at night, it drew in that outside air and it froze up the coils. And there are four air handling units, and they went down one after another like dominoes. During the recent cold spell, broken pipes and faulty heating have also taken their toll on other churches throughout the archdiocese. St. Mary's in Annapolis, St. Edward's in West Baltimore, St. Patrick's in Haver de Grace, St. Bartholomew's in Manchester, and St. Paul's in Ellicott City. Just across the street from America's first cathedral, parishioners took the Basilica breakdown in stride, gathering at the Catholic Center to focus on the real meaning of the day, rather than where they ended up celebrating it. There are more important things, too. This season is focused on repentance, kind of getting ourselves turned around and putting priorities in order. Now, there is no simple fix for the Basilica. We're told workers will have to rebuild those heating coils, and it could keep the cathedral closed through the middle of next week. Jeff Hager, ABC2 News. All right, thanks a lot, Jeff. You know, you can get the forecast anytime, even when you're out and about. All you have to do is download that Storm Shield app. You can get the alert sent right to your smartphone. You can find it at Apple's iTunes Store or Android's Google Play Store.